Hi, um, in this video, I want to show you one more thing that I did not do in, in lecture. So if you open your Java file inside the main activity, now what I showed you here is how you set up the event listener. So let me go over here, turn this off. Okay, so this is how you set up the event listener for the navigation view, right? So um, you can do it this way using the inner class uh, uh, like this. It's quite common as well. And we perform everything here in this uh, block of code. Um, it's kind of hard to see because it's a, a, a it's kind of big here. But let me and resize my screen, my code. You can see that it's inside. You know, everything's inside this function called uh, on create. Okay, you can do it this way, which is perfectly fine. But if your code gets pretty uh, bloated, it gets pretty bulky. Then what you can do is you can break this out, this whole thing here to a um, a function right um, of course there are lots of ways to do it but one way is the way we did so let me go and refactor my code and let me copy this or i can just cut these out and put into a function down here and we'll call it public uh, we're going to return something back okay this function returns requires a boolean so let me make it a little bit bigger that means it needs to return a boolean and we'll call it um on selected this is just my own function okay item like that and then i'll paste everything right back in here right so now we need to pass in the item so we can use over here so therefore this is the item over here this main menu when i call the function on selected item i need to pass in the item to that function so therefore in here i need the menu item and it needs to return a boolean value so therefore this function is going to be called with the return statement right because in the end i'm going to return a true or whatever it's being returned here if we call it activity it's going to return something else but so now you can see that um my code is a little bit cleaner inside here i still you know use the inner class to perform this operation but my code is now much leaner and i pass it on to an external function and I can control that much better than the other way around. And if I run this now, it should still work just like before. Okay, so hopefully then nothing breaks. There we go. Okay, so um, there we go. Yeah, so that's what I wanted to show you. One way it's like that. Another way what you can do is you can uh, implement this uh, this interface. This is an interface. Um, it's a function, but it's part of the interface. So instead of doing this way, you can turn all this off. Let me do this way. And up here in the function and the uh, class, I'm going to implement the navigation view dot on navigation item selected listener. Okay, you, if you uh, implement this listener, then you're going to implement this function called on navigation item selected right so just click on that say okay and here we are down here is the function you need to implement again just remove all this um jet brains non no stuff so then this part inside here is exactly same as this okay so or or the one i did earlier so what i mean is i can copy all this everything here and move it down to this function down here and then replace everything here all right so there we go so now if that's the case then i don't need this right this is no longer needed and let me hide this part i don't need all this and my drawer is already in the global space okay good so now i just have to um activate that function so over here so instead of going to set navigation and you do the whole thing here i'm still going to need to load this but i'm going to pass into this function this entire function the uh, contacts so here you would say navigation view dot set navigation listener and you pass here just this and you let the interface handles all these implementations so this function is going to be called 
pass this to the interface and you're going to implement this function down here and everything here is the same as before. Okay, so that's just again a third way how you do it. And again, if I run this now, it should still work just like before. Okay, as you can see, nothing breaks. And there we go. All right, and then last but not least, I will show you anyway is that when you go to the um, activity, you want notice I don't have the hamburger menu here because I, did, I choose not to do it. You can if you want to, you can just add it on. But I want to show the back button using this before, right? You go back to the um, the button, and you do that by going to your uh, manifest file up here, and you need to choose the parent class of this one here. So the location activity, the parent will be just a dot main activity, and the same for the contact. Um, Okay, so those are those are other ones. And if you want to change the title, instead of says my favorite fragment here, you add a label. So you can put here label will be, um, you know, this is the what is what is this? This is the contact. Okay, uh, contact us. And up here is the location. So you put here again, the label will be uh, our location. Okay, so you turn that on in the um, Android fast manifest. Then in your code and the contact and location here, you need to add the action bar. Turn on action bar. So it'll be just action bar. And then again, this action bar equals, we're gonna get the support, the action bar. Then action bar dot set display, display home as up and enable. But you pass in true and that's it. This will return the um, you know back uh, icon or home icon back to home or back to the previous page. Okay, so I'm going to copy this and paste it over to the other activity as well, and so both of those should now have that back arrow. And run your code again. So here we go. If I go to the location or contact us. You see, I changed the title as well as the arrow going back to the previous activity.